Hey everybody, welcome back to Penguins with Capes. Today I want to talk about something a little bit special and a special video calls for a special shirt and today I'm wearing my absolutely badass Nintendo New York shirt that I got from, well, Nintendo New York, which is, by the way, the happiest place on earth. Disney World can go fuck itself. Well, in actuality, I do like Disney, uh, but I like the Nintendo World Source so much more. You know what else I like? I like video games, and I like my mind, and I like keeping my mind sharp. And today, I want to talk about a Nintendo Switch game that looks to do just that. And of course, the game I'm talking about is Dr. Kawashima's Brain Training for Nintendo Switch, which is a really complicated way of saying this is Brain Age on Nintendo Switch. Now, Brain Age, for those who don't know, is a super, super popular series that kind of faded out uh, of the public eye during the 3DS and Wii U era, but was huge during the DS and Wii era. And essentially, it was a piece of software, well, a couple pieces of software, actually, that essentially lets you train your brain in a couple minutes a day, as the slogan used to go. It's a bunch of brain games and mind-bending puzzles and just various little tasks that can help keep your mind sharp. It's the sort of game that fits into your routine, you know. It's not a game you're going to sit down and play for hours, but it's something when you wake up or maybe before you go to bed or on a little bit of a lunch break, you play it for 15, 20, 30 minutes, train your mind a little bit, get your daily training in, and move on. Now, I never really got into these games because when they were really popular, I was a little kid, I was running around, I was way too crazy to be sitting down and playing a brain training game. But now that I'm older, now that I'm 18 and I already feel my mental faculties disappearing out of my mind as I slowly begin to spiral into insanity, I, I decided that maybe I can try to get out of this nosedive with a little bit of brain training. Now, of course, let's keep in mind, I live in the United States. In fact, even though my shirt has got some Japanese characters on it, I unfortunately don't know Japanese at all. Something I'm going to fix at the beginning of next year when I take it at my college. Ha ha ha. But that's besides the point. The fact of the matter is, I'm not Japanese. And so you might be like, Abram, calm down a second. Isn't this game only out in Japan? Well, yes, my good friends, it is only out in Japan, but there are very easy ways to get around this. For those who don't know, the Nintendo Switch is region free, and by hopping over to websites such as Play Asia and buying some eShop Yen cards, you can very easily make a Japanese account, hop on the Japanese eShop, and buy this game for roughly 30 American dollars. It's a little bit wacky with the Yen to dollar conversion, and then the way that PlayAsia gouges you just a little bit uh, to make sure that they make a profit too. The fact of the matter is, if you really, really want to play Brain Age on Switch right now, you can. And I really, really wanted to, and I really wanted to be able to share my opinions of the game with you. Now, of course, let's Let's not get too crazy right now. Of course, these are not going to be very conclusive opinions just yet because, of course, the game just launched. And like I said earlier, Brain Age is the sort of game that becomes a routine. It's something you play every day, and it's not something that you play for a huge burst of time. So what I really have are my first impressions from my first training session, all of which you can view by looking up in the corner. Now, I did have to cut out some stuff because this is a, a slower paced game. There's a lot of reading, a lot of text and everything. But the video footage in the corner should give you a good sense of things. And keep in mind, unfortunately, I couldn't use my fancy Elgato capture card that I got for Christmas because, well, it's a game that plays with the Switch's hardware in very unique ways. And that's the number one thing I want to talk about in reference to this game already. I love how much it uses the Switch and all of its unique features. Of course, the game is mainly played holding your Switch as though it's, you know, an iPhone or something, where you're holding it vertically in tate mode, if you will. Makes me want to buy a flip grip, actually. Uh, you should look up the flip grip if you don't know what it is. It's a very cool peripheral, something I wish I had. Again, totally besides the point. The point is, though, you play this game in very atypical ways. You're going to be using your finger a lot to draw numbers on the screen when you're doing simple math questions, writing words, all kinds of things. But by far the most interesting use of the Switch's hardware is the IR camera. Now, we've seen the IR camera used in various ways, whether we're talking 1-2-Switch or Labo or other little things here and there, but I've really been impressed by how the IR camera has been used here. Essentially, as you can see in the corner, it's used for tracking hand motions, whether that's for little rock, paper, scissors games, or little counting games, or hand matching games. Uh, it's very simple utilization, but it's very cool to see the way that, you know, this camera is able to capture what your hand is doing so seamlessly. It did take a little bit of time to figure out, to be honest, my first time using the IR camera to do the rock, paper, scissors game, I got a terrible brain score because I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what they wanted me to do. But once I figured out, you know, where I need to hold the camera, how I should move my hand, it became almost second nature to use the IR camera in Brain Age. And it's something that I'm really looking forward to and it's a novelty that I don't think is going to wear off because it feels very natural. This feels like a natural extension to the gameplay experience, especially in the way that this game is trying to engage your prefrontal cortex, as Mr. Kawashima was going to remind you of a lot. The fact of the matter is, using the camera in your hands feels very organic and fun, which I really appreciate. On the whole, I just think that that's a great way to describe this game. It's very fun and very whimsical and also very informative. As you're playing, you're going to get a lot of really cool brain facts, and you're going to learn some really interesting things that I never would have come across otherwise, because if it's not about film, video games, or 
you know, music, I'm really not paying attention to it. I watch the news here and there. Don't take me for one of these dumb people that doesn't follow the news. You can take me as a dumb person, but not as a dumb person that doesn't follow the news, because I do. Again, tangents. Wow! There's so many of them. The fact of the matter is, Brainage is a really fun game that you should check out. Essentially, the way it works for those who don't know is you're gonna do daily training every day. These are very simple little games you're gonna get to play that are going to sharpen your mind. And then once you've done your daily training, there's some other things you can do during the day. You know, you can play Germ Buster, which is essentially a pared down version of Dr. Mario, as you can see up in the corner. This is actually really fun. You know, I'd never played this before, because like I said, I really didn't play Brainage in the past. Uh, it's very simple. But what's interesting is the way that you can really directly touch on the capsules and more are going to fall, depending on the difficulty you pick and the speed. It really does challenge your brain in interesting ways, and it does feel like a different experience than Dr. Mario, but if you've played Dr. Mario, you know what Dream Buster is. Then you can also figure out your, your brain's age through the brain tests, which are sets of three randomly picked uh, brain challenges, which you play in order, then you figure out what your brain's age is. I don't want to share mine because it makes me seem like a degenerate idiot, but the fact of the matter is, once I get a little bit more experience with the games themselves, I'm not trying to play them through my phone screen as I'm recording them for you guys, I'm going to get, hopefully, a brain source a little bit better. But a lot of what you're going to be doing is playing these little challenges to tune your brain, whether you're going to be solving simple math questions, doing these IR games to test your reflexes, whether you're going to be doing these little things like playing a maze where you have to connect numbers to letters in sequence, you know, going A1, B2, C3, and etc. They're very simple games, and they're nothing that, you know, are going to blow your mind, but they're going to engage you enough, and they're quick enough that it feels fun and bite-sized to go through. Keep in mind, though, that Germ Buster is the most gamey aspect of the game that I've found so far. There are some head-to-head -head games, but they're as exciting as, you know, counting birds and waving flags. This really is a game that is supposed to engage your mind in interesting ways. It's not trying to be straight up a great traditional video game gaming experience, right? You're not going to find deep systems, you're not going to find much in terms of traditional gameplay here. You're going to have these fun little brain teasers. And I think that's what makes Brainage so interesting. It's a great piece of Blue Ocean software that I think can really supplement, you know, your gaming palette. This is something that I'm really going to be planning on playing when I wake up every morning, just to do my daily training, play a little germ buster, and then move on with my day, and then maybe return to it at night. But it's going to be something that I put no more than like 30 minutes into every day. And I think that's totally good. Train your brain a little bit, and play these very simple games, see the Switch's hardware being used in really creative ways, and then be done with it. It's not something you're going to really dive into. It's certainly not a, a hardcore game. It's not for the serious gamer. But it's a very casual and very interesting piece of software that I really think you should check out if you're interested not only in sharpening your mind, doing little brain puzzles, but also if you're interested in using the Switch's hardware in, in fun new ways. Because I really do think that the way it uses the IR camera, the way it uses the touchscreen, it's all very clever and I can't wait to see what other brain games I unlock as I play more. Because keep in mind, I only was able to see a very small slice of the game's experience because as you train more, as you do more days in a row, as you collect more stamps from doing your daily training, you're going to start to see more games unlock because I can already see a bunch of things that are grayed out with question marks that I just haven't gotten to yet because, of course, like I said, this is my first day of training. Another thing I should note, by the way, is that training is linked to profiles, but you can have multiple profiles training. So what I'm saying here is, if you're like me, back in the day where you had Brain Age, which it was, you know, used by your mom when she stole your DS to play it at night, you can easily have multiple profiles here on this version of Brain Age for the Switch also, so you can definitely have multiple family members train on the Switch with you, and it's very simple to jump between profiles. But with all that said, guys, those are my first impressions of Brain Age on Nintendo Switch. I think it's a very interesting game that uses the Switch's hardware in fun new ways, but like I said, it's not, you know, the most revelatory experience. It does, from what I've seen, feel a lot like past Brain Age titles. You know, it's not going to blow your mind, but if this is the sort of thing you're looking for on Switch, you're really going to enjoy it, and I really do plan on playing it most, if not every day, just to keep my mind sharp, because like I said, I am slowly losing my mind between being an adult, you know, college, work, all of these things, they kind of make your mind melt a little bit. So I need Dr. Kawashima to sharpen it back up for me. But with that said, guys, those are my thoughts on Brain Age for Nintendo Switch. You know, if you want to check out more thoughts from me on other games too, be sure to subscribe here, like the video, go follow me on Twitter, it's going to be linked in the description. And also go check out my writing for Nintendad. I write there all the time, it's a great team and a great site, so be sure to check that out too. Any links that you might need are going to be in the description. I'm also going to put links in the description to the PlayAsia page where I bought my Yen cards from, so if you're interested in playing Brainage now too, you can really quickly go over there, grab some cards, download it on a Japanese eShop account, and be off to the races. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you've played Brainage in the past, 
and if you're interested in playing this version on Switch, and maybe if you've even gotten it on Switch already, like a couple of my friends have, let me know what you're thinking of the game. With all that said, guys, I'm going to get out of here, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.